right, where are we going? Isa. My king Tatarian is waiting for you. These it's been a long time since we've been here, and he will continue. What is this? Oh, place codex on pedestal. I don't like the looks of him. Looks suspicious. Should just kill him and be done with it. Just in case. Conceived in chaos, birthed in stolen magic. Dawn from fate, child of two fathers, treacheries in treacheries, winter is broken. Makes perfect sense. The puppet king upon his throne, drinking flattery and lies. The power that grows in him is not his own. <laughs> in the East it did begin, as it will end. As it will end. From behind the veil she screams, madness and rage, madness and rage. This may be confusing for you. Fate, like the Fae, cannot be changed. I beg to differ. But the Tuatha are Fae who have become something new. And you are a mortal who is free from Fate's weave. Gadflow claims that the Tuatha are the work of his new god. If the Tuatha are the creations of a god, what does that make you? The time of the Fae is passing. Our land and our souls are diminishing. Few Fae even realize that the great cycle is shifted. Gadflow's war means the death of us all, Fae and mortal alike. It is written in the weave that we shall all pass from this world together. It is too late for us, but not for you. That is the fate which I look to you to change. The power of a god in the brash hands of a mortal. This is why Nirolin fears what you might become. This age has seen much change. Change we once thought was impossible. We were wrong. You are intertwined with the power in the East. There can be no doubt of that. Your energy reaches back to Alabastra. We do not know what will happen when you travel there. But we know that the power behind Gadflow is your ultimate goal. His god holds your answer and the fate of this world. I thank you. And perhaps you can help change our world's fate as well. I have seen those who were destined to be heroes, for whom great deeds came naturally. They come, they act, and they pass on as written. You do great things not because you must, but because you choose to. That is by far a far truer greatness. <laughs> I do great things because I have to to progress the game. <laughs> yeah, I'll kill the bastard. Admirable. But strength of will cannot see you through this alone. 
You may be unbound by fate, but you are not free from death. Speak with your allies. Only with their aid can you hope to overcome the forces that stand against you. Ooh. You are truly a blank slate, able to choose your own destiny as witness and proclaimed by the High King Criterion himself. Plus three experience, plus five gold. Nice. Do I have to choose one? I just get both. Nice. The weave is a puzzle. Each person is a piece. The edges of their fate locking together with the people around them. All performing their duties to form a grand picture. However, you are no longer a puzzle piece. You are a dollop of paint. You cover and redefine the edges of the puzzle pieces you meet. But more dangerously, you repaint the picture of reality itself. Who can trust that your design is better than the original? It is the deepest tragedy that our fall should come from our own. Make no mistake, Gadflow is the harbinger of the end of my kind. In fighting him and his army, you will surely spell our doom. For that tragic truth, we forgive you. I don't need your forgiveness. I don't even like you people. We are the dreams of warmth and safety, given physical form. But these dreams are endangered by Gadflow and the long winter. Since our kind returned to this world so long ago, it has been my honor to serve as High King of the Summer Court. My rule was always shared with the High King of the Winter Court, until Gadflow arose. Now both of our people are in peril. The Summer and Winter Courts have always ruled the Feylands in harmony, as the seasons wash across the world. But with Gadflow's new god, Something changed. The Winter Fey who followed him called themselves Tuatha, and bore a mark of Prismere upon them. Their power has grown, and yet they are diminished. Oh. It's a baby doll. Who would have thought you were so interesting? Death seems to have worked out very well for you. Agarth's looking for escape. Neuralem's looking for a savior. And Tatarian is looking for a champion. And somehow, you're giving everyone what they want. I'm impressed. Me too. I'm awesome. What can I say? You're right. This won't be easy. The Tuatha have our forces under siege at Mel Sanchir. And their power has only grown over the years. You'll need more help than just me and that old fate weaver. You'll need an army. I am an army. A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed. But stealth is no longer an option. Not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. None of us could have foreseen the rise of Gadflow and his army, but we should have, and now we're all facing a price. Neralem is the oldest living mortal. He remembers the time before even the Fae called these lands home. You should see how they cherish him. He rarely grants an audience to visitors. His tenders say he knows the future as well as the past. It makes him very particular about what he says. Be on your way. I couldn't make out half of what the king was saying, but it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've got a lead on finding an old friend of ours. Old Felmer Hughes, of course. If anybody can... I've been asking around what and I was fuck? able to make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. All known scholars have a Templar who sponsors their research. And apparently Hughes' sponsor, Templar Octien, is desperate to find him. Go southwest to the Hollowlands and Dichir. 
Octien will be waiting there to discuss how you might rechoose. You're not the only one on the hunt for Hughes. Octien has followed his trail to the Hollowlands in Detir. You'll want to talk to him. Alright, what quest am I on? Where am I going? Who am I? What's going on? Alright, so that's that one. Um... Do meet with her. That's up there. That's way down there. Huh, okay, well shit balls. Where do we go first? That's way too far away. That's all right. Let's check this one out. Finally, we found the last person we need after all. I'm Helic Cross. I'm leading an expedition to the land south of Dalantarth, the teeth of Naros, and we could use another strong back. Few facts. The only record of a successful journey there was by an Alamein missionary named Denric, returned half dead and maddened to hell. <laughs> He claimed the southern land as home to a miraculous city, wrought of gold and trimmed with silver. Even said it floated above the earth, if you can believe it. It's hard country, damn impossible to find a pass in the mountains. But if I'm right, this cavern will take us under them. Because Denric wrote of more than wealth. Tales of giant men, tall as houses, that slaughter any who approach. It took weeks even to convince Cash and Sferi to join me. With a fourth, we can take a bigger haul without sharing too much of it. Denric was crazed, but I don't hold him a liar. I can overlook some bogeyman's tales if there's riches to be had. Can you? Then we only need to begin. I've seen to all the logistics and all the preparations for the journey. Meet us in the Southern Passage. Let's try to cover as much ground as we can. It's the cave next to camp. I heard rumors that it was filled with artifacts that none had ever seen before. Strange carvings and huge works of stone. I don't know how dangerous it is, but I advise against being too carefree inside. We should go in as a group. During one of my other campaigns, I chanced upon a diary of an Almain monk, Denric the Crazed, said he found a way to the land south of Dalantarth. 
After reading what he found there, cities of gold, fountains of sapphires, I decided I wanted to see this land for myself. I've been a mercenary for about 20 years now. Toured with the Warsworn, but didn't take quite as much pride in the work as they wanted. So I struck out on my own. You can make a fair bit of coin selling your sword to keep a farm or two safe. Not that I'll need to anymore. Sveri's got a fairly good head on her shoulders. She's only got eyes for gold, but there's plenty for all on this trip. When it comes to navigating ruins, there's no one I trust more. Sveri's got no, a fairly no, no. good head. When it comes to no. navigating ruins, Wrong one. we're in the foothills of the teeth right now. It's not the easiest place to reach. Sheer cliffs of stone and few passes through them. Stay close. Probably can't use that shield either. I'm guessing all kite shields are for warriors only. Yeah. That's what I figured. Ooh, what's under here? The time of deliverance is almost nigh. The teeth of Naurus have gone untamed. Since the rocks were young, since the wind was but a child. And now, my chosen people stand on the precipice of taming this land, or succumbing to it. I thought once that none could change the stars of this world. But at last, one has come who can. Come, thou faithless one, I beckon thee. Alright. Looks pretty cool.